Hey guys, um, so I was talking to some of you about uh, grip and someone said that they wanted to see a, a demonstration of this exercise that my good friend uh, Scott Perley from IRC Music showed me. So if we look at how I used to hold my sticks, um, I kind of used to wrap my fingers around and was having some trouble with um, you know, not being able to really get the kind of speed that I wanted um, from my sticks, um, not really be able, being able to get the power, and I was starting to do some marching stuff. <clears throat> so my double strokes were kind of a little bit flimsy. Um, so we've talked about how a uh, a good grip. He really said we need to really work on that grip, and uh, what he was talking about was making sure that I could get more of a rebound and what we found out was that my finger wrapped around the stick was uh, impeding the stick from really bouncing the way it should and so we we worked we worked my grip so that my, the end of my thumb was pe pressing in towards the stick and I was really just holding on to the stick almost like this really loosely and we talked about how that almost feels like I'm just going to lose the stick constantly. And he kind of said, well, that's okay if you lose it sometimes because you have to kind of find that breaking point because you want that stick to be able to really bounce. And then we found that as the stick was moving, even if I changed the grip, it still wasn't, I still wasn't getting the rebound. I was kind of catching it. And so he kind of came up with something to almost a very extreme exercise for me to do that would make me um, make me learn how to let the stick rebound and that would help alter my my grip so my whole purpose of showing this is just you know to help anyone that's trying to get a little bit more rebound but also not send so much shock up through the those carpal tonal um, bones up in the top of the the hand at least that's I believe but that's where they are so it kind of starts like getting that first stroke and letting the stick bounce back so when you hit that the stick comes way back like this and event and you want to the way he was really having me do it and I don't have it perfected yet is that we want the stick to come back each time so that we're controlling we learn how to control the bounce a little bit more and we're actually letting the stick rebound a little bit more. Let me roll up my sleeve so you can see a little bit more what I'm talking about. And I actually haven't done this for a little bit because once you get the grip down a little bit better, it's you can take it way down and you really don't have to concentrate so much on that. It's not a practical exercise of something that you would want to continue to do. It's just something that you use to teach yourself how to control the rebound and how to really hold the stick in a loose but controlled way. So I'll show you how I did it on just the right hand. So letting that wrist really rotate and uh, you almost have to do it a little bit faster. So see my wrist is rotating, that stick is rebounding all the way back. And there were a couple of reasons that we did this. One was to create a good grip, one was to create a better rebound, and the other one was to keep my hand a little bit lower too. And then you'd alternate hands and try it that way. It feels very, very weird when you do it. And it almost feels a little bit, uh, pardon the term, but stupid. It just feels very silly. But when you start to really get it, you realize that what your purpose is to let the stick rebound and the more you're working, if you're tensing up here and wrapping your fingers around, then all that shock is, even if you're using your wrist, a lot of that shock is going right into your uh, wrist and we want, that, we want that shock to be absorbed by the stick. And so, and like I said, I'm still working on that grip a little bit, but getting those double strokes to be really relaxed so that we won't we don't feel the shock of it and we don't um, and we don't stop the stick from doing what it's supposed to do. So I'm going to show that again. Again, my grip is real light. 
I'm going to have my three fingers pretty much together and on my grip that kind of needs to come down a little closer together but your whole purpose is um, to really be able to move the stick and snap the stick with those three fingers and then inside here it should be pretty loose so to practice making it really loose and it's okay if you drop the stick quite a few times I did and eventually you kind of learn to control it and you just want to rotate it in and out so that that stick is you're making that stick rebound see how much I'm not using my fingers at all to control it I'm just allowing the stick to really rebound and almost, it's almost like I'm throwing the stick at the practice pad. And then uh, the hard part, I think, is, is, and you don't even really have to do this, but trying to put it together. Um, see if I can even do it here is where you're just alternating both hands. So I kind of start here, which is like an extreme rotation. And then I try to get both of those um, rebounds going. And you can see that I'm not even rotating this. So right now I'm still kind of working on that, controlling it with one finger on each hand. And that's working pretty well, I like the evenness of it, I'm not accidentally accenting anything. And then eventually I want to get to being able to control with those other fingers and get some, uh, some good rebound there. So that's pretty much it, uh, thanks to Scott Purley for teaching me that and I hope it helps you. Uh, with the, the soreness in your hand. I know that I'm as I'm getting into it I can hit a lot harder and I'm not feeling that soreness at all um, because that it's not coming through my hands there. So I hope that helps and uh, happy drumming to you.